Hey everybody, it's Jake Brown from General RV and welcome back to day six of our 2021 virtual RV show. We're gonna be bringing you guys RVs, camping accessories and parts that cater to the full timer as well as the pet lover. Today, Matt is gonna be bringing you guys the brand new 2021 Keystone Alpine. Let's have a look. Thanks, Jake. Hey everyone, Matt with General RV. I'm standing in front of a 2021 Keystone Alpine 3700 FL. This is a great couples coach with the ability to entertain over the weekend, in addition to having an extended season package and the storage capacity for a full timers. Come on, let's check it out. The first thing I notice when I'm walking up to this unit is this full body paint. Not a lot of fifth wheels will have this in this segment, but this does have a full body paint solid steps in the front and we're going to go quick because we want to touch on a lot of things on here too um, you're also going to have the six point hydraulic auto leveling system that's really convenient get to the campsite hit that auto level button let the rest of it do it on its own um, i already went ahead and opened up all these storage compartments so you guys could see this is a ton of storage and it's all the way passed through you have one two full pass through storage units on the side a little bit on each side left and right but the big part is in the back. Look how big this is. All the way through, there's outlets in here. It's ducted, so it's heated as well. You also have a hitch, so if you want to add another rack or whatnot on here. A nice thing that I saw here too on the outside that caught my attention was this power cord reel. Usually you'll have these where it's stored up front. You got to hook it up to the side, drag it all in by hand, get really dirty. That's the thing of the past with this. So all you really have to do is hold this button here and it'll automatically reel it in. Great, great feature. Again, going back to the storage, we already touched on that side, both sides. Pass through, pass through. And then you also have your enclosed termination valves too for your tanks. So of course, go ahead and pull these out. You got two blacks, a gray and a gray. Easy, simple. Walking around to this side, you have the all-in-one center which is easy to get into, opens up in the bottom. Easy adjustments here for your winterization, your tank fills, your bypasses, black tank flush, everything's right here, outside showers here, and then you also have your key TV, which is a great feature from Keystone, hookup that's really easy to get to as well. Auto leveling is gonna be over on that side, big storage compartment in the front. Plenty of room in here. Also you have your inverter as well. We'll touch on that a little bit more on the inside. Battery storage. Your propane tanks are gonna be on the driver's side and on this side you're gonna have all your hydraulic fluid. They took a lot of this, which is usually in the front, moved it over to the side so you have more storage. Battery hookups as well. And you got a little bit more storage on the inside here too. Not a full pass through because you have all your all in one center on the other side. Let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. One thing that really catches my eye as soon as I walk into the unit is that it feels like home. There's a lot of things that you'd see in your house that they brought into this fifth wheel to have everything you'd need while you're camping. Um, big, nice residential GE refrigerator in this one. Two door and then the bottom freezer here. You have a convection microwave by Furion. Cooktop, the center one, I love this piece too. In addition to a great size oven as well. Digital, great cooking space. Big sink. That pulls out. Plenty of storage underneath. You actually have two trash cans. More storage here, and then tons of storage over on this side too. So there's no lack of storage by any means. Um, a lot of systems you'll see too nowadays have the all-in-one control center. There is an app for your phone that you can control the lights, tank monitors, so on, but everything's controlled through here. There are still some regular toggle switches for the lights throughout the unit, but everything else in terms of your HVAC, uh, awnings, whatnot, go through this panel. Easy, convenient. So simple. Let's take a look up top. 
stop actually really quick. So I mentioned about having all the features at home in the unit. So they actually did add a built-in shop vac on here. So this is a great feature. Obviously there's a connection here. There's gonna be hoses that you can hook up. You're always gonna be tracking in some type of debris from the campsite. So as you can see, it's already a little bit from us in here now, but that's a great feature to have. Up top in the front living area, the big point that stands out to me would be this big front window. Talk about an addition of great natural light that comes in, but you'll say, okay, so wait a minute, we're missing something here. Nice fireplace, backsplash looks great, and big front window, but where's my TV? Well, let me show you. A lot of people like me like to have that front window with that big view and also the light that comes in but that brings in the problem of how do you add that with the TV. So they put this on a televator and it has a great, nice, big Jensen TV in here. Blocks the window in that case, but of course, you know, if you're watching TV, a window's probably not gonna be a big deal for you. Very easy, up and down, great feature to have. Um, fireplace does kick off heat, a little bit of heat too if you want it, but it's a nice little touch. Um, these couches, these opposing couches here are pull-out sofas. So I talked about earlier having the ability to have those weekend guests. There's the second part to that too, and I'll show you in just a minute. But these both will pull out on both sides. And then you have two nice Thomas Paine reclining feeder seats right in front. And these will actually have USB ports on here. They're heated, they're massaging. What more would you want? All right, let's take a look. Now, I did mention, like I said, for those weekend guests. So in addition to the sleeping spots, a big thing with having guests is you don't want them always, especially at night, they need to use the restroom kind of intruding in on your space. Here's the fix for that. Conveniently located half bath, plenty of space. It doesn't, you don't have to go through the, your bedroom in order to get to the half bath for your guests. So a great addition there. Doesn't take up too much room in the galley. Uh, walking up to, we'll touch really quick on the dinette too. Uh, big windows on the outside, looking on the outside. Comfortable spots. Um, there is no carpeting as you can th see without this, throughout the whole floor plan. That's gonna be more and more common throughout the industry as you see moving forward. A lot of manufacturers have already moved towards it. Um, just a clean look, clean feel, and these slides are pretty flush too, which is nice, but plenty of space, um, great dining area. These windows do open up in addition to the ones up top, so you have that great cross breeze if you want it to. All right, let's check out the bedroom. Plenty of space in here, beds in the slide. You do have windows on the outside. Plenty of storage as well, wardrobe space on both sides. Storage here, TV here, more wardrobe space, plenty there. There is a door, sliding door too, that closes off. Now, here's one of the best parts of this unit too. With that spot underneath the storage in the back, it opens up for a large bathroom. And when I mean large, I mean large. This is big. Dual vanity here, and they're separate. Usually when you have dual vanities, they try and cram them in and they're on top of each other. These are on separate sides. So there's plenty of space for both people to be here separately not on top of each other. Uh, this wardrobe over here actually can be wardrobe space or you have the hookups for your washer dryer. You could do of course a stackable or a combination on here too. Plenty of space here. A little overhead storage here. A nice big shower. So again, I'm six foot and there's plenty of spot space in the shower for me. Ledges, a seat, nice glass sliding doors, plenty of headroom. Great shower. All right, let's head back on outside. Couple quick specs on this unit really quick. This is 41 feet long and weighs roughly 14,000 pounds dry. Uh, it is a five slide unit, but I think overall Keystone did a great Great overall package with this, combining some great features with being that, not only that weekend warrior if you want to be, but also that extended living if you wanted to do it, with the addition of having that guest availability too. So if you want to check one of these out, head over to one of our General RV Superstores, whichever one's closest to you. But if you can't do that, check us out online at www.generalrv.com. Jake, back to you. Thanks, Matt. Up next, Tom is going to be bringing you guys the brand new 2021 Holiday Rambler Armada. Let's have a look.
Thanks, Jake. Hi, I'm Tom Bennett, motorhome specialist here at General RV in Tampa, Florida, and I can't tell you how excited I am today because we're going to take a tour here of a 2021 all-new Holiday Rambler Armada 44LE. So right from the start, the first thing you notice is this beautiful paint job, full body paint, front to back. You can see how it's textured in here a little bit. The Armada has Gerard awnings. Those are roof integrated awnings that really give the coach a very sleek, uh, direct look as it goes down the road there and Gerard awnings from front to back. So you bring those out, you got 44 foot of awning space. It's a really nice feature the Armada uh, gives you. Now with the Holiday Rambler, the first thing you start with is the Titan Bridge chassis. Whereas most RVs in this category have a chassis that's just a raised rail freight liner, Holiday Rambler with the Titan Bridge has a fully integrated chassis from front to back that uses I-beams instead of C-channel rail um, beams there. So much stronger, much more rigid, gives you extra storage space. It utilizes freight liner components with independent front suspension, a V-ride rear axle, and then a steerable tag axle. So not only does it give you the best turn to turn radius out there on the market, but it gives you an exceptional ride quality that makes the Holiday Rambler Armada very special. Now, while we're out here, I'd like to show you the storage because it's something that I think really stands out. You have three separate full pass through bays, the front two of which have slide out trays that can come out of either side. So no matter what you bring, you'll have plenty of space to make that very comfortable for you. One more right here. Again, under your awnings front to back, you also have an outside entertainment center that has a pretty large TV and then behind this um, when you pull it out and turn it either way it also has a sound bar built in so whether you're watching TV listening to music outside tailgating something like that it's gonna be very comfortable now let's take a look inside So with the Holiday Rambler Armada, it's all about luxury and convenience, and it all starts with what you have here in your driver area. So let's take a look. You have these really big, comfortable seats right here. You can see that they're power seats. You've got foot rests, uh, very comfortable, adjustable armrests here. Um, the cab area here is designed for driver convenience. So the few things here I really want to point out. You've got Freightliner's OptiView digital dash here. It's a customizable digital dash that's right here, perfect line of sight. And you can see all the information you need to comfortably drive as you go down the road. You also have dual monitors. So on your left, you have your right, left, and rear cameras, which you can look at either full or split screen. And on the right, you have your stereo navigation and also a DVD player. So you, what I like about this is that you can look at your cameras and your navigation at the same time, whereas a lot of RVs will have it where it switches back and forth whether you're using the signal or not. I think that's a convenience feature that makes a lot of sense. You've got a nice comfortable steering wheel here which adjusts both tilting and telescoping and your mirrors are in a very well designed place so it's going to be very comfortable and easy to drive as you take this RV really anywhere you'd like. Also want to point out that you have a Mobileye collision avoidance system. So I know how important safety is for a lot of people in this RV. Um, having a notice to stop or a lane departure warning as well as the rest of your safety features here is something that I think really adds a lot to your comfort in taking this RV down the road. Now let's take a look at the home part of the motorhome. The Armada 44 LE really has it all, from comfortable living space to tons of kitchen areas, a great bathroom there in the back, and a nice half bath and bedroom as well. Right up here in the front, you have your dual couches, one of which is a pull-out bed and a comfortable seating area as well, and the other a motorized recliner setup. Now this is directly across from your TV, so you're gonna have a comfortable theater viewing area as well as just having a very um, personal family hangout area up here. That alongside the chairs that turn around in the front, if you have a gathering over here or lots of guests with you at certain times, it's going to be very comfortable. Not to mention, there's a lot of sleeping here. For an RV this size, usually it's the bigger you get, the fewer you sleep. But that's not true with the Holiday Rambler Armada 44LE. In this RV, you have three separate sleeping areas. Of course, what you have in the back, 
a full pull-out bed here, which would sleep two adults, and then a drop-down bed in the front. So if you have as many as six guests here, you'll be able to comfortably enjoy this RV. Now, as you move back, you go to your kitchen, which usually is something that's sacrificed first when floor plans do have comfortable living areas like this. But with this RV, not so much. You've got a lot of counter space, and they actually recess your induction cooktops here. So when not in use, it gives you even more. And then you have a pullout here as well. So you have even more counter space. Also storage. You've got these large cabinets here behind your all solid woodwork. You've got cabinets right here. You've got a full pullout pantry on this side. As well as storage underneath and above your sink as well. Also want to point out you have a dishwasher here. So really comfortable area you have and a huge sink. You know, this is a full size sink. It doesn't have that split there in the middle and farmhouse style here. So really gives you a little bit of extra space. Across from your kitchen, you have the table and chair option. For this RV, you can either have the dinette or the table and chairs. I personally like the table and chairs because of all of this extra counter space it gives you right here. Not to mention the storage underneath as well. This table will also pull out and seat four. There's two extra chairs that come with the RV. Um, also here in your living space, you have your fireplace. And right across here, you've got a pretty large French door refrigerator that has the ice and the water on the door. So comfortable, lots of space in the freezer and fridge area. Okay. So here you have your half bath. Another great feature for if you have guests. Um, you can come in here without having to go all the way to the back. Uh, you can see you have a nice vanity in here as well as some extra storage here. As you move through the bedroom, I want to point out that you have a solid wood separation there. A full king size bed that does have a tilt feature built into it. Uh, across from your bed, you have some storage. So here you have a his and hers closet space and lots of very deep long drawers. So for long-term trips, this is going to be an RV that gives you all the storage you're going to need. Now, my favorite part about this RV has got to be your rear bath area. It's something that allows for seasonal or full-time RVing to be exceptionally comfortable, and that's really what we all like to see. As you move to the back, the first thing you notice is this gigantic shower. Tons of space, very wide, very long. It's fully tiled with porcelain tiles there. And then this nice rock finish here at the bottom and a built-in seat. So very comfortable and much like any residential application should be. Additional storage back here. And then a full stackable washer dryer. Now that's a Whirlpool, so it's a good brand for you. It's gonna be reliable and easy to work with. Now, another great thing back here has got to be your vanity area. You have a his and hers sink area in your vanity, and it has this wraparound countertop that gives you an exceptional amount of counter space. It goes all the way to the back here. You have storage under both sinks and back here as well that goes really deep. So for any long-term application, this is going to be very, very comfortable. Next to that, you have a separated bathroom with its own door. So a lot of these bathrooms, when in use with a married couple or, or any number of people, having that separation allows this to be used far more um, like it would be at home. And I think having that um, like being at home feature really makes it a comfortable space. Altogether, the 2021 Holiday Rambler Armada 44LE has it all. Whether it's going to be long-term use, full-time RVing, or those weekend trips with the family, it's going to be able to handle those very well. Thanks again for checking out the 2021 Holiday Rambler Armada 44LE with us here today at General RV in Tampa, Florida. If you'd like to learn more, please come and visit one of our super centers nationwide or check us out on generalrvcenter.com. Again, I'm Tom Bennett, motorhome specialist here at General RV in Tampa. Thanks again for coming. Back to you, Jake. Thanks, Tom. Hey guys, make sure you go to your local General RV. We've got 13 locations nationwide. I'm down here in Tampa at the parts and accessory store. We've got all the parts and accessories any camper would want or need. Let's take a look at some that might be useful to you. Hi, I'm Anthony. Welcome to Camp, Camping Accessories and Motorhome Parts. Would you love to take your pooch camping with you? We've got you covered. 
with unique pet-friendly items that will make your adventure stress-free and enjoyable for both you and your pet. The fully collapsible clip scoop saves space in your RV and is a great camping accessory. The three-in-one tool is a two-cup measuring cup, food scoop, and a bag clip all in one. It's a great way to seal your pet's food and it's also dishwasher safe. You may want to grab a few. The travel cup with bottle holder and carabiner is an easy way to carry less when out enjoying the day with your dog. You can both have water for your hike with one easy item that features both a bottle holder and a carabiner so you can clip it on your belt loop or backpack, allowing to be both hands-free. It's also dishwasher safe. The single elevator feeder keeps the bow at a comfortable position for your pet during meal times. The removable collapsible bow has a 1.5 inch capacity and is sturdy enough to be used separately and even cleaned in the dishwasher after use. The bowl and feeder legs both collapse to a mere 1.5 inches for space saving storage in your RV and can even fit in your backpack. The Snack Duo is the first pet bottle that has a section for both water and snacks. The compartments are side by side and are separated by a divider that is built into the bottle. Each chamber has a 12 ounce capacity with individual openings to ensure the contents from each side stay separate. The collapsible one cup companion bowl can be used for food or water. The Mud Buster. Just add a little water and insert your pup's paws one at a time and let the gentle silicone bristles help remove dirt and mud. Then just pad their paws dry. It's also easy to clean. Just rinse and let dry, keep handy by the door. You may want to grab an extra one for the car as well. Choose from two different sizes. Paw Spraw's handheld washer is a complete pet washing kit that will help make rinsing or bathing your pet an enjoyable experience for both of you. The Smart Paw switch allows you to quickly adjust the water flow from full pressure down to just a trickle. It features five different settings, an extra long 84 inch hose, and comes with multiple adapters for indoor outdoor use. And that also makes it easy to switch back and forth between your pet washer and your regular shower head. You can find all these items and more at GeneralRV.com. Hey, welcome back everyone. One of our favorite reps from Forest River, Aaron, is gonna be taking you guys through the 2021 Forest River Salem. Let's have a look. Hey guys, I'm Aaron Swan with Forest River's Salem Division. I'm excited to give you the first look at the new Salem 31 KQBTS and show you why we call this the ultimate bunkhouse. I think we can all agree that camping should be fun and easy and relaxing. So at Salem, we made the 31 KQBTS the easiest coach on the market to set up. Starting with the, with the way you hook and unhook from your tow vehicle. We have a power tongue jack on this coach. At the push of a button, you can raise and lower this coach off of your tow vehicle. It also comes with a handy light so that if you're hooking up or unhooking in, in the dark or in low light conditions, we can illuminate the back of your tow vehicle. Easy as can be. The next thing we did moving around the side of the coach is we added power stabilizer jacks to your, to your coach, to the 31 KQBTS push of a button you can extend and retract your stabilizers and not have to get down underneath the RV and crank those to a stabilizer RV. Push of a button, super easy, easiest coach on the market to set up. Lastly on the power package that comes on the 31 KQBTS is the power awning with LED light strip. We no longer have to to learn how to put an awning in or out because Salem has took, taken all of the work out and made it super easy for you. So at the push of a button, we can extend and retract the awning and turn this light on and off and illuminate your campsite. Super easy, anybody can do it, super convenient. It'll make your camping trip a lot more fun. The next feature I'd like to point out on the new Salem 31 KQBTS is our new Moride Step Above Triple Step. This is the easiest set of steps to set up on the market. They're the most stable and we put them on our Salem 31 KQBTS so you're relaxing instead of working while you're camping. 
First thing I want to show you is that the steps sit on the ground when they're fully deployed. They're nice and stable and the, your weight when you go in and out of the coach doesn't rock the coach left to right. If your steps are not touching the ground, your coach is going to tend to rock left to right when your kids or your family go in and out of the coach. These steps are nice and stable. They're resting on the ground and we also give you this nice big entry handle to, to grab onto when you go in and out of the coach. These steps are really neat in the fact that they easily deploy and stow away. That simple. They don't weigh much at all. They're super easy to handle when you want to put them out and you need to adjust the legs to match your campsite. You simply push this button and the legs extend and retract accordingly. Very simple, easy to do. Oh, I'm on an uneven campsite. Look, I just hit the button, I'm extended. Now my coach is set up. When I'm ready to go home for the day, ready to pack up and go back home, we just simply fold it back up, stow it away, and close the door. Easy as that. One of the most exciting features on the 31 KQBTS is this amazing outdoor kitchen. Now the 31 KQBTS is the ultimate bunkhouse. So when you go camping, you want to be outside, you want to enjoy the outdoors, you want to have your family out here, you want to be grilling out here, you want to be relaxing with your family. So on the 31 KQBTS, we've put this amazing outdoor kitchen in here. It is equipped with a sink that is plumbed to the coach's holding tanks. It has hot and cold water. There is a place out here to hook up up to a 40 inch TV. There's these awesome little stow and go bins to put all your personal items, your grilling tools, maybe some paper plates, maybe some utensils, things like that. Also, we've got a mini fridge out here that can store all the drinks for the kids and drinks for mom and dad. Um, just everything you need is out here. In addition to that, we've added this awesome little barbecue grill here that swings off of the bumper and it comes right, right in here under your outdoor kitchen. So if you're standing under this kitchen door, which also makes an awning, keeps you out of the sun, keeps you out of the rain. You've got a workspace to prep food. You've got a sink with hot and cold water. You've got a refrigerator that to store your beverages and food. And then you can swing right over here and grill up what you need. The propane for this connects right to the coach. So you don't have to bring anything additional along. It's super easy. You open the awning, swing the grill around, hook it up and you're ready to go. The next feature I'd like to point out in the 31 KQBTS is the Versa Lounge. This is a feature that we developed at Salem and it takes your camping experience to the next level. We have the most versatile furniture in the industry at Salem. So right now, the way you're looking at our furniture, it is, um, it is in traditional dinette, U-shaped dinette, which is amazing, and sofa mode. Our furniture is the only furniture in the industry that allows you to turn the furniture into, into a few different configurations. So real quick, if you were eating dinner here, you have plenty of room for everybody to sit around the table and a few people to sit on the sofa. But quickly and easily, we've made it where you can change this furniture. If you're not going to be sitting around the table and eating, we can change this into a chase lounge very simply and easily. And now you've got furniture that is functional, good looking, next level, and you're able to just chill out on it and relax, right? So um, you can hang out this way, you can hang out that way, watch TV, check out the fireplace, whatever you want to do, and you still have two thirds of your dinette remaining. The next configuration for the Versa Lounge furniture is to, let's say you have a a guest that wants to sleep out here. Now we've got the ability to sleep someone in a longer, larger area that is more comfortable for them. Gives them a lot more space to stretch out than a traditional jackknife sofa would without this extra area. It easily converts right back to its chase lounge mode. The next amazing feature of the Versa Lounge in the 31 KQBTS is its ability to quickly and easily turn into this full length full slide extra sleeping area. So this is about 12 feet long. You could sleep as many people that'll fit in here, quite frankly. 
A lot of customers I've seen have put pillows on this end and pillows here and slept four children in this area really easily. It's the only furniture on the market that allows you to do that. Welcome to the ultimate bunkhouse. This is the 31K QBTS and this room is why we call this the ultimate bunkhouse. This room features two slide outs. It also has four individual sleeping spaces. So over here, we have a top bunk and a lower bunk that flips out. We allow it to, we make it flip up and down so that if your kids don't wanna use the bunk, it can increase their floor space. With that bunk flipped up, you're gonna have about an eight by eight space back here in the bunk room. Not only that, we added to it this year for 2021. You're gonna see it for the first time. The Salem 31K QBTS comes with the new Versa Queen right over here. So on this side, you've got a bunk on the top and the Versa Queen below. So right now, the way it's set up, we've got the bunk down and you can use this however you like, whether you want, it's the most accommodating furniture in the industry, whether you want it to be a bunk, like it is, a top bunk. We can easily, if, but if you don't, we can easily flip that out of the way. And now we've got a sofa. So the kids can hang out in this room and they don't just have to use the bunk room to go to sleep. So right now we've got a nice sofa with the bunk flipped up quickly and easily. We can transform this furniture into another bunk really easily. It's time to go to bed, kids. Shut the lights out, stop making noise. Time to rest up for tomorrow to have another fun day. We're gonna flip this bunk down and we're gonna have four individual sleeping areas and leave the majority of our floor space. Now, if you're like me and you have a tall, tall son or if you wanna camp with other adults, we added the Versa Queen feature this year, which has just transformed a, a lot of floor plans in the Salem lineup, but particularly this one. So if you have a larger guest that doesn't really fit on a bunker, it's not comfortable for them, quickly and easily, our lower furniture there will convert to a second queen mattress. This coach has a master queen in the front, and now it has the ability to have a second queen in the back. It's an amazing feature. Your family's gonna love it. Another amazing feature in the 31 KQBTS is the 12 volt, 11 cubic foot frost free refrigerator. This is the largest refrigerator available in this class of RV. This allows you to take normal sized food items along with you camping. This is 78% larger than the typical six cubic foot refrigerator found on the market. This refrigerator looks awesome. It gets cold down to an optimal temperature in about an hour. And really the big feature is it saves you trips to the, to the grocery store while you're out on a trip. You can bring more food, you can bring real size food, and makes it a lot more convenient. If this is the ultimate bunkhouse, chances are you're gonna have a lot of guests along and you're really going to appreciate this refrigerator. Salem 31 KQBTS is just loaded with features. One of those features you're really going to appreciate is the 30 inch built-in electric fireplace. This is gonna be a great feature for you and your family to enjoy to, uh, for a few reasons. Um, you might just wanna turn the lights on and set the mood for movie night. Or you might be camping and it's a little cool outside. This is not only a great looking feature, but it's something that is a safe source of supplemental heat. So if it's a cool night or a cool morning and you just need to take the chill off in the camper, you can turn this on. It's 5,100 BTUs. So it's gonna take a lot of the chill out of the air and reduce the need to use your furnace at all. And it looks great. So um, look for the built-in fireplace in the 31 KQBTS. The 31 KQBTS, like we said, is the ultimate bunkhouse. 
So with that in mind, we've loaded the 31K QBTS with storage so you have room for all of the belongings of all of your guests all of the time. We've added storage where Ever we can add it in this model. These stow and go bins are great. And this is something we came up with for 2021. We added 20.3 cubic feet of storage in the Salem 31 KQBTS. There's three of these totes underneath the sofa. There's one under each side of the dinette. And there's more in the in the bedroom as well. These stow and go totes are stackable. They are dry food storage approved and um, it really keeps your camper nice and clean and neat and organized. Everything has a tote. You don't have items unorganized and and uh, jumbled around when you get where you're going. Everything will be where you put it when you when you use the stow and go totes. More stow and go containers are found inside the bedroom. So right now we've got the master bedroom flipped up in the in the 31 KQ BTS. It's got two shocks to flip it up. And then we've got these fabric totes in here. These are a great, great place to store towels or socks or t-shirts or whatever you may have. They fit right here in the 31 KQ BTS. And again, gives you added storage and a nice, neat way to keep your camper clean and organized. I'm Aaron, and that was your first look at the Salem 31 KQBTS. Thanks, Aaron. Up next, Matt is going to walk you guys through the brand new 2021 Primetime Sanibel. Let's take a look. Thanks, Jake. Hey, everyone. Today, I'm super excited to show you the all-new 2021 Primetime Sanibel model 3702WB. Let's take a look at some of the outside features first. So starting up front, you know, the WB in the model number, the 3702 means wide body. So this is a little bit of a wider fifth wheel. We have a nice painted fiberglass front cap there, and I love the LED lights right there. Coming underneath here, we do have a little bit of storage right there. All right. Your propane tanks go here. Here's the place for you to leash up your pet while you're at the campground. And we have some really nice pass-through storage right there. You do have six-point electric leveling throughout this whole fifth wheel. And I love this. You have not one, but two power awnings with LED lights. I love that. A lot of times in fifth wheels, they won't give you that second awning there, so that's a really nice feature. Right here, we have our Lippard component solid steps, which is nice. They're firm and steady to enter in and out of the fifth wheel. And we have a really nice grab handle here. Coming down the side, look at these huge oversized windows. You guys will really appreciate this when we go on the inside of the fifth wheel. And finishing up around back, we have a bumper, which is a great place to put your stinky slinky, spare tire, spare tire carrier, and a ladder to get up on the roof. The outside of this fifth wheel looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. Great, so entering this fifth wheel, you have a very unique floor plan with this mid-living floor plan, but I don't even wanna call it that. I wanna call this a rear kitchen floor plan. I love this, I love the ceilings, I love the heights, I love the residential feel. You have solid surface countertops through, throughout this whole fifth wheel. Nice microwave here, residential appliances, sink, faucet and everything, and you even have a decent size Furion oven for an RV that's a pretty good size and we have a residential refrigerator right here coming down the side look at this huge TV nice very big TV entertainment center with a fireplace that fireplace does produce heat which I love and then it is adjacent to the entertainment center 
You have very nice theater seats right there, a nice sofa, and what I like, every single placement where somebody sits has a great angle to watch the television, which I like. If you look above, we do have the Whisper Quiet air conditioning system, uh, which is nice, and then right here is very nice. Here's your table and chairs, and because the entertainment center's right there, you have plenty of space to back that chair up in case somebody in your party is a little bit bigger, for an example like me. You have plenty of space. Coming up, look at this railing. It, this doesn't feel like I'm in a fifth wheel. This feels like I'm in a, a nice house. When we walk up and we go into the bathroom here, wow. So this shower is a nice 30 by 36 shower. I have plenty of space. There is plenty of height with the shower dome. You have your sink and medicine cabinet right there, and your toilet right here is in a very nice position to take care of business and continue on camping. And then finishing up, wow, look at this. Double slide outs in the master bedroom, I love that. A lot of times in these fifth wheels, you have to slide through like this just to get to that back closet. Here I have plenty of space, I can get changed, I can get dressed, everything. Oh my goodness, the lights aren't even on. Wow, I couldn't even tell because the windows are that big and bright in here. Uh, that's awesome, that, that's the way it just was. You have a king size bed right there, which is awesome. Plenty of storage above right here, and then guess what? This is gonna be prepped for a stackable washer dryer. I love that, and again, if you're a little bit bigger like me, we all know we have trouble tying our shoes and you have a nice little bench right here to tie your shoes and go for a nice hike. Well, that's it everyone. That's the all new Primetime Sanibel 3702 wide body. For more information about this unit, please give us a call or Check out our website, generalrv.com. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. Hi, I'm Tom Bennett, motorhome specialist here at General RV in Tampa, Florida. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the all new 2021 Thor Delano 24 TT. And I can't tell you how excited I am. The first thing you notice as you take a look at the Thor Delano is this beautiful full body paint job. It's very sleek, very modern, and not only does it protect the RV over time, but it just gives it that very upscale look that we love to see in an RV like this. You have this fully molded fiberglass front cap, which sits back a little bit, so it doesn't obstruct your view like a lot of these front overhead bunk cab areas do. As we move to the back, you can see you have the armless awning, so you don't have those arms getting in the way for you there. Now this also has a built-in sensor for if it moves up and down in the wind a little bit too much, it'll just roll itself back up. So that's another nice thing to see. Um, something Thor does with the Delano is they put these side opening insulated bay doors on the RV so it makes it much easier to get inside your bay, of which has this Teflon backing. Not only is it stronger and more resilient than most, but you can also just spray this clean so it makes um, cleaning things up a little bit easier. Another storage area right here. And also you have a built-in propane hookup. So if you carry a grill, um, you can hook that up right to your onboard propane tank pretty easily. 5,000 pound hitch. So if you choose to tow a car, boat, trailer, anything like that, you'll be able to do so. And something nice about this floor plan is that it gives you a lot of storage. So what we saw on the other side, over here you also have a few bays. I want to point out right here you have your water hookup and an outside shower. Some more storage right here. And a pretty good sized slide. This also has a built-in slide topper that comes standard on the Delano. So that's always a nice thing to see. Some more storage here. And then you have another pretty good sized bay underneath. So all together, a great number of storage uh, bays on the outside. You've got the slide topper built in and this nice big slide. Also this, 
um, which is painted alongside the RV as well, so it makes it look a little bit better, is a tankless hot water heater system. Let's take a look inside. Wow. The first thing you notice as you walk inside this RV is the exceptional amount of space that you have. Now this RV is only 24 feet long. So as small and nimble as it is, making it easier to drive, you still get all the living space and comforts that you'd like to see in an RV, probably much bigger. So let's take a look at the cab area first because this RV is built on the Mercedes chassis and it's the all new Mercedes chassis. The Mercedes chassis itself has driver convenience features that make it very automotive in nature. It feels just like driving a normal car and it's not much bigger. You've got built-in digital components. This is where you have your camera built in as well as navigation. Um, you've got the shifters right here on the steering wheel and it just feels very luxurious and modern. Also this chair, it's a motorized seat that has the controls right here on the door. So very comfortable and customizable for, for anyone who really sits here. Now to your living area. Um, again, just very spacious. This big slide really opens things up. You have this dinette right here with a pretty wide, uh, pretty good sized table right there and seats that also come up. So whether you're lounging or having dinner, just very comfortable. Also the decor in here, it's very modern. You can tell that it's, um, it's done with more uh, modern tastes in mind. You have these rounded solid wood cabinets, which provide a great amount of storage right here above your kitchen. Um, cabinets up here as well, which go all the way across. And a really good sized kitchen. You know, you've got this cover right here for your dual propane countertop, a convection microwave, and a good amount of counter space, whether you have a coffee pot or something like that, you should be able to get everything you need in there. Also, lots of outlets as well. So anything you bring, got plenty of space for that. As you move to the back here, the 24 TT gives you a bath right here on the rear passenger side. Now what the, that allows you is to have a rectangular shower, a little bit more elbow room. So whether you're staying in the RV just for a short weekend trip or a longer term trip, it should be much more comfortable. Also, there's a good amount of counter space and some storage up here as well. So that seems to work out pretty well. Um, a full closet. Now, something to take a look at here is how deep this is. You know, you have the hanging area for clothes, but you also have a built-in shelving area behind it and these very large drawers from top to bottom there. And then in your bed here, you've got a walk around bed. So pretty easy to get around, plenty of space. And then this also pops up. So you have this nice little sitting area here in the back as well. It's kind of a Murphy bed setup. And it looks like you have some extra storage right there as well. Three pretty nice sized drawers. Altogether, this RV is very small. It's gonna be an RV that's easy to drive. You can park it anywhere. And it has the luxury components and features that you'd like to see in a higher end RV. Um, if you'd like to learn more about this RV, please come to one of our super centers nationwide or check us out on generalrv.com. Again, I'm Tom Bennett, motorhome specialist here at General RV in Tampa, Florida. Thanks for taking a look and back to you, Jake. Well, that's a wrap for day six. Thanks everybody that followed along today. Make sure that you tune in tomorrow. If you have not yet, go to YouTube or Facebook to hit subscribe for notifications. Go to generalrv.com forward slash virtual RV show. We're running RV show prices all month long. We'll see you on the lot.